Hold up, what's my name? More money, more cash, more. More money, more cash, more. More money, more cash, more. What's going on guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K17 My Career. Uh, we are heading into the playoffs and we're going to be covering the whole entire first round in this episode. So you guys make sure you guys strap up those seatbelts. It's going to be a good one. Uh, and as you guys see before the playoffs though, me and LeBron did have a little vacation, you know, a little trip out there in Colorado. But now we're going to jump into our first game. Now we're going to jump straight into the second quarter. Um, since we're going to be covering you know, at least four games in this episode, I thought it would be a great idea to show the best parts of each game. Now that was obviously the alley-oop that was in the intro. And uh, Dwight Howard and our, our chemistry is really, really good. As you guys see me hit that and one basket. Um, our connection, our chemistry has been A1, man. Every single time we work the pick and roll, not every single time, but every single time we do have that pick and roll, it always works to perfection or we get something good out of it. And as you guys see, ending the game with that dagger. Throwing it down on Jaleel Okafor. I don't think he was ready for that. I don't think the city of Atlanta was ready for that. And I don't think the Sixers fans were ready for that. That was flat out disgusting. As you guys can see, I am pumped up. So that ends the first game. Uh, blowout win. I ended up with 25 points, five rebounds and seven assists. And of course, I'm playing on Hall of Fame difficulty. I just don't know if I feel comfortable with it. Yeah, no, hey, I get it, I get it. Thing is, someone's gonna do it, so we might wanna get out in front of it, so we make sure it's not someone with hostile intentions. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't know if I, if I really trust the guys you've been sending my way, not because of you or anything. I just don't, I don't know. Yeah, no, I hear you. Hey, I don't trust them that much either. So if you got somebody, other options, you know, send them my way, and we can build a relationship over time and uh, see what happens. Mm. Yeah, but we got options. Yeah. Okay. So just think about it. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I'll think about it. So now looking at the stats, like I said, Dwight Howard had a huge game. He went 7 of 10, 15 points and 11 rebounds. And he had two blocks and two steals as well. And Paul Millsap struggled a little bit. We're definitely going to try and get him going throughout the rest of the series. Now for the Sixers, they are a young team, obviously, and Jaleel Okafor and Covington really stepped up their offensive game, and they were the big part of the reason why Philly even had a chance in this game. Now we're going to go to game two, and we're going to fast forward to the third quarter here. It's 40-47, to 47, and we have a comfortable lead. There hasn't really been any issue as far as uh, us playing Philly. We've really been taking care of these guys uh, offensively and defensively without any problem whatsoever. Um, we haven't really been down at all uh, in the beginning of games. It's been kind of like come in, take care of business, and uh, that's exactly the way it's been going. Now has 17 points and 10 assists as Dwight Howard hits that end one. He's been playing phenomenal, man. As, as you guys see, he is emotionally into this game, into this series, I should say. And as I said earlier, we have to get Paul Millsap into this game. As you guys see us running that pick and pop, he's wide open and he knocks down that shot right there to give us a huge lead in this one. And that one is game. So we win the second game. We're now up 2-0. I ended up with 22 points, five rebounds and 14 assists. Really trying to set up my teammates and uh, making sure they look good as well. Because the scoring part isn't really the problem for me. Uh, it's really about getting all my teammates involved and that's the job of the point guard. So I think I did that in this game and uh, we take this tool lead in this series which is looking like we're going to be, you know, able to sweep these guys up. Uh, Paul Millsap had a huge game, 25 points, 7 rebounds, uh, and Dwight Howard, another double-double. Um, he's been playing out of his mind, almost like back in Orlando. But. So uh, we're back. This time we are in Philadelphia. And if you guys know Philly fans, they get rowdy, man. This is definitely going to be a tough crowd to to knock out knock out as far as just confidence. Um, they're definitely going to be wild and, and really cheering for their team. So uh, this is a very important game that we come in here early and set the tone from jump. Um, as long as we set that tone and jump out on this team, the crowd won't really have anything to cheer about. So that's really what we're going to have to focus on. And as you guys see, we are, or we did end up doing that. We're up 20. 
Um, we have not had any problem with the Sixers team. Obviously, they're a young team, and uh, just for them to make the playoffs is a big enough accomplishment uh, as a Philly fan. Not me as a Philly fan, but for a Philly fan rooting for their team, I think that's definitely a huge accomplishment. And uh, they are still a very feisty team. You know, they are aggressive. Now they're only down 11 points. And with their shooting guard going up for the layup, I don't want to butcher his last name, but he makes that layup to go down with uh, seven points, but it was not enough. We're up 11, and uh, they are on the fast break right here. They're going to try to stay in this game for obvious reasons, and he knocks down that three-pointer, but it was a little too late. We end up taking that win, so we have a 3-0 lead, and if you guys know basketball and the sports period, um, no team has ever came down or came back from a 3-0 lead. So uh, hopefully we will be going for the sweep and hopefully we'll be able to complete that sweep uh, on Philly's home floor. And just looking at the stats, I said shooting guard earlier, but his name is Luwawu Cabarat. It's very hard to say. He had a great game, you know, 28 points. And for the Hawks, it came down to Dwight Howard having another double-double. Uh, obviously had a pretty good game, 20 points and 10 assists. So now we're going into game three looking to sweep. Well, Kevin, we know here in Atlanta, Mike Budenholzer has assumed the dual role of coach and GM of the Atlanta Hawks. It's a tough task, but he can draw on the experience in San Antonio. But Greg Popovich has a similar role. Like Pop, Coach Bud makes sure to listen to his differing opinions and empower the staff. So we're going to fast forward to the third quarter. We have an eight-point lead, a pretty comfortable lead, but this crowd, you guys can hear them. They are roaring right now. They are still in this game, still in this series. And that shot is up and good for the three. So now they're down only five points. Uh, we don't want to get this crowd into it, even though, as you guys can hear, they are very rowdy. And Paul Millsap throwing that down. He's definitely turned around his play in this series, starting off a little slow. Now, one thing about this game is that, I've, if you guys haven't noticed already, I've really been struggling. Um, I have only nine points and three assists. And uh, due to the larger fact that, you know, being a rookie and having the opportunity to sweep my first career series, you know, it just made me want to take over this game, made me want to have a high-scoring game. And that really hurt me, I think, in the long run. And as you guys see, Philly, the fans right now are so loud and uh, into this game. Um, it's going to be hard for us to continue uh, this momentum that we have right now going for us. So now 58 to 53. Still in the third quarter, they're going to give it to Okafor in the paint. Obviously, he has a mismatch with Bazemore, and he gets the foul and one. So now we're only up by three points. This has been a tough game for us, man, dealing with this Philly crowd. The Philly crowd was nowhere near this loud in the first game. And uh, right there, trying to swing to Dwight Howard, but I turn over the ball. I've uh, definitely been having a very tough game. That's my sixth turnover. And we give up a foul and one to Joakim Noah. Tough stretch. And now this Philly team has the confidence going for them. They're a young team. It doesn't take much for them to be confident and for them to really, you know, use that momentum to propel them forward. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Joakim Noah with the rebound and pass. It swings it to Rodriguez and he knocks down that shot. That was a very, very tough shot. Very tough play. Um, Joakim Noah is playing. He's never played like this in his prime. So... The way he's playing right now is really, really um, a surprise to us as a team. So now Rodriguez with the ball. Jerry Jack playing defense on him. They swing it to Simmons, and Simmons swings it to Covington, and he hits that three ball right there. Now they have an 11-point lead. Um, they haven't had this kind of lead this whole series. So uh, for us, we are a veteran team. We have veterans like Paul Millsap and Dwight Howard, and look at that. I foul out with 13 points, and... Um, Definitely a tough game for me. Uh, definitely have to look back, look to bouncing back. I hope my teammates can finish off this series, however. Um, we will see at the end of this game if they can complete this comeback without their starting point guard, which I feel like is very doable. But we go down to the Sixers. They do win the game. We don't end up sweeping them. And um, this is definitely in large part. I had to take the blame for this one. You know, I had only 13 points, five rebounds, and four assists. Not the type of game I'm used to having. Man, <laughs> nice studio you got here, Jason. Shoot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. And thank you for uh, coming by. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm glad you called me, actually. Good. 
because uh, I've been thinking and I wanted to talk to you about something. Yeah, look, I'll tell you about the team and all that, but I had a question for you and it might sound a little crazy, but I was wondering if you could write a book about me. Are you serious? Yeah, look, I mean, I know it sounds a little cocky to assume that someone would want to write a book about me, but I've been getting a lot of offers for it. People asking about doing movies and stuff like that, and I don't know any of these people, and I figured, hey, I know you, you treat me pretty fairly, and a book's going to be written about me eventually anyway, right? Yeah, true, and I do feel like I know your story very well, and yeah. I feel like I know how it should be told properly. Mm -hmm. So that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about today. You're kidding. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> it's kismet, man. So you do it? Of course I will, yes. My man. Yeah. I respect that. All right. Bathroom? Bathroom. <laughs> That way? Okay. Back the cool, way you cool, came, cool, right cool. there. Thanks, On the man. left. Uh, when I get back, let's talk about, you know, when we can link up and start meeting. All right, let's start doing it. Left or the right? To the left. Left. Your other left. Oh. There you go. So I've definitely been busy off the court as well, um, me having interviews, trying to sign, get books signed, uh, but I have to come back and lock in and focus for this game. We're looking to end this series at home in Atlanta, and that's exactly what we're going to be pushing to do. What will happen? These are the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Now, as you guys see, everybody is rocking red. Um, it's a red out, I guess you could call it, in Atlanta. Uh, so the fans are definitely ready for us to end this series and to move on to the next round. And hopefully everybody brings it in. As you guys see, we are starting off another slow game for us. Uh, we're down double digits to the Sixers at home. This is not what we expected to do, but you guys know they're a young team, and it doesn't take a lot for them to gain confidence and for them to really get into the series and get into these games. But as you guys see, we get that still right there, and I throw it down, and I get the foul. Hopefully that gets my offense going. So now it's 79 to 66. Um, I had a decent game, but what I've noticed is that the games where I don't really make a lot of plays, a lot of offensive plays, I don't get a lot of assists, I struggle, and my team struggles. And as you guys see here, I fouled out second game in a row, and we're down double digits. I'm hoping that our team can rally up after seeing me foul out and get this together and make this complete this comeback and win this series. And we do. We win this series. We're going to the second round of the playoffs. I don't know how, but my teammates definitely came through in the clutch, uh, made a double-digit comeback without their starting point guard, and um, I'm definitely excited. Even though I would have rather been on the court and win and won with my teammates, um, I'm excited to be moving on to the second round of the playoffs as a rookie, and uh, we're looking forward to our next opponent. So one thing I haven't been paying attention to is the overall uh, the playoff bracket as you guys know the Golden State Warriors got knocked off by the Houston Rockets so a one and a seed and that ended up really bad for the Warriors and another top team that lost was the OKC Thunder losing to the Grizzlies and on our side it's the Cavaliers and Pistons facing off in the second round and we're going to be facing off against the Celtics so make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button make sure you guys are checking out the whole entire playlist and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and your boy is signing out Look, I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows, million dollar skins and billion dollar. I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. I put my heart in this world, cause that's just all that I know.